Hey guys, Nintendo Fanboy here. So I just want to rant a little bit today. Uh, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but something to talk about, something for you guys to um, kind of reply back in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this because you're going to hear this more than once for me because it's just something that it's ongoing with Nintendo with me anyways. Um, and that is the the whole Nintendo Switch Online and I will be calling that NSO from here on out. So NSO, if I ever say NSO, it means Nintendo Switch Online. So NSO is actually a really nice service. It's a nice, I like what they're doing. I really do. But it does have its drawbacks. And I think Nintendo could actually make it so that it satisfies everybody because not everyone's going to like it. I mean, one thing I do like about it is the family plan. I like that you're able to add more people onto it. I really wish that PlayStation and Xbox would do the same thing because if I wanted another member of my family to join PlayStation Plus, they they would have to have their own separate monthly or monthly but um I mean like yearly fee. I mean yeah, they could do a monthly as well, but but you guys know what I'm talking about. I can add people with NSO, Nintendo Switch Online, if I buy the fam family plan, of course, right? So that's really nice. And many moons ago, I, I did hear PlayStation, Sony, speaking about that they were going to do some type of family plan as well. But that has not been talked about, to my knowledge, in a long time, which would be... It would be really nice because if I wanted to play a game with someone on PlayStation, you know, they, they would have to have that plus also just to play online. And I know not everybody has multiple PlayStation systems or Xbox systems in their household, but those of us that do you know we have that we have to pay a little extra just to have a, a second person added onto there or if you have kids you know yourself and kids and that's what makes nso so nice it makes nintendo switch online very appealing because you can add people and it's all under the same bill under the same you know same plan whatever right that's very nice i like that and NSO brings us games from various consoles, like the Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, the Game Boy series, the Game Boy Line, Sega Genesis, and the thing is, you know, there's more, but like, the thing is too is, why not... Why can't Nintendo just like – so the, they have the expansion pass, right? And that's a little a little more money and you get a little more stuff. But why not just have everything that's Nintendo, such as the Game Boy, such as Nintendo 64, and uh, I'm pretty sure GameCube will be added later on and so on, right? Anything that's Nintendo, why not keep that on NSO and the expansion pass? The, pa the expansion pass, why not have that as non-Nintendo systems, such as Sega Genesis, such as whatever they whatever else they decide to add. You know, maybe they'll decide to add Philips Magnavox later on, or um, other Sega platforms such as the Dreamcast, such as uh, the Sega Saturn, you know, I... Th I think that would be nice because maybe not everybody wants to play all you know those systems but it's not even that it's just the fact that it, it makes sense to me because when you call it expansion pack that means you're expanding you're you're going beyond Nintendo you're going out of Nintendo out of the realm of Nintendo if that makes any sense and that's where you get your other systems so if they want to add the Jaguar, the the 3DO, you know, uh, the 
like I said, the the Philips Magnavox or or um, ColecoVision or something, you know, like all these other non Nintendo systems. I think expansion pack, the expansion pass would would um, make it makes sense to me. Just keep Nintendo stuff on NSO. And like I said, you're gonna hear this from from me a lot in the future because I I really feel not, like Nintendo's missing out on something here. But um, not just that, but Nintendo, please keep your controllers in stock. Like, Nintendo 64 controller for NSO has been so difficult to reach. I've been lucky to receive all of them. Um, I still have to do unboxing videos for some of the controllers that I have. But uh, the N64 controller is the only one I don't have yet. And I've been wanting to try that with GoldenEye, of course. And... Those of you who watch my YouTube short shorts, yes, I do make YouTube shorts because they, you know, they're very easy for me to make with my busy schedule. Uh, YouTube shorts, I I posted one of my most recent controller pickups, which was the, uh, it was the let me, uh, what was it called? The Retrobit, of course, the Retrobit sixty four. And I got the, the USB version, so it should work on the Switch. They do sell a, a Nintendo 64 um, version where they you can connect it directly to your N64. The one I got connects directly to uh, U any USB device. And I haven't tried it yet, but I need to. I need to try it on GoldenEye. Um, I did switch up the controller options to have the more modern feel with the with the pro controller um i think it still needs a little more tweaking i mean it, it's okay it works but i don't know i don't know if it, it's not perfect though it's not perfect like it was with the n64 controller um and the nso n64 controller i would believe i would think that that's the perfect way to play it right so um but yeah, keep Nintendo keep they need to really keep their items in stock. And I know people are selling them on uh on eBay for two, three times the price, which is really which really sucks, but to my knowledge, there's only so many controllers you can buy. So uh but Nintendo really needs to find a you know if these things, if these items were able to be, you know, if you could buy them at the store, I don't think they would be um, price gouged as much because the only way you can buy them is through Nintendo. And that's why it's so difficult to get them because these people buy them all up and then they resell them and then they run out, you know, they buy the whole stock. So... Yeah, and it sucks for us that really actually want the controller to actually use it. They actually want to enjoy it. It, it destroys that, you know, and that it really sucks. So uh, I just think they need to, to be able to have more retailers, at least like maybe like Target, Best Buy, Walmart, some of the most major ones to have access to it because I don't know. It's just it's really tedious to. I've been waiting months, uh, months. Well, since it released, I've been waiting since it released to to get one. I've been, uh, been wanting to get four of them, you know, at least four of them. But um, yeah, so I think that's all I really wanted to rant about right now. I'm pretty sure there's a little more, but I just can't remember right now because I'm so tired. But um, thanks to everybody that made it this far into the video. I do appreciate you guys, and. Um, my days off are coming up from work, so hopefully I'll be able to at least do some, um, put out some more videos during my when I'm off, and um, I'll let you guys know what's up. I'll do some update videos once in a while, but keep in, uh, keep on, keep it a lookout for my shorts, my YouTube shorts, because I will be posting those. They're so easy to make, and it's not so time consuming, and I think I've. I, I did grab a lot of subscribers from doing that. So, all right, guys, NFB out. I'll, I will catch you on the next video. And um, don't forget to turn the world off as you game on.